Yes. Guess we're live. Yes, well, you are. Yep. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Gordon Ramsay, and I will have the pleasure of introducing you all to Gravity Circuit. I say introducing because, yeah, this game released like a week ago. If you're here for the end of Moonrider, you probably heard the whole spiel, so I'll keep it short. <laughs> <laughs> Joining me on the couch for commentary, we have some familiar faces. We have Dominic. Once yep, again. I wrote the music once again. We have Argic. Hello, I have played this game, and I'm very excited <laughs> to see how this run goes. New face, composer, and me. I, I did something in the game I've played it a few times, so <laughs> should be it, a pretty good time. Did playtesting for it. Is in credits. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, kind of important. <laughs> Every time I beat the game, it doxes me, and that may be an issue. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be pleased to know we don't know who. We just know you're there. There were like anyway. four playtesters. You can just flip a coin. <laughs> don't tell them that. <laughs> uh, right, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yes, yes. Speedrunning and professional things. Uh... <laughs> So, I guess let's get into it. I'll be explaining things as we go along. First, we'll be selecting circuit mode, and I'll explain what that does in a second, because time starts. All right. Difficulty. So, let's have a quick countdown and press the funny button. Three, two, one, and go. All right, so we skipped the lore dump, so uh, I'll keep things brief. Uh, we're, we are in a futuristic robot society where some robots dug too deep and greedily, and now the virus army is unleashed. We're going to be playing as uh, Kai, the Gravity Circuit, who we will see in just a second. There he is. Also known as uh, Shredder, the Legally Distinct. <laughs> <laughs> now, this game takes a few cues from Mega Man, or so I've heard. Uh, I cannot call those out, as I have never played one of those games. But if you ever see something on screen and you're like, that, that's a reference! It probably is. <laughs> All this, there are pixels! It's a Mega Man reference! <laughs> uh, this first stage here is pretty straightforward. It's just kind of your intro stage. There aren't going to be any real Force tutorials, aside from, I guess, this one? Which isn't even really a tutorial. It's just going to introduce us to our first upgrade system. Which we're actually not going to see at this stage, so... Once again, I'll comment on that, once it's relevant. This nice purple pumpkin man is going to give us a flying strike. That is a burst technique, one of our special moves. Slide through here. As it is the intro stage, our movement options are still a little bit limited, but one thing that Gravity Circuit does really well is your base moveset is really good. As you can see, we've immediately got a wall jump, we've got this grappling hook, which we can use to deal damage, reel ourselves into things. Or, as we'll see in just a second, if everything cooperates, we can also use it to uh, pick up and throw enemies and their corpses once we defeat them. Running a little low on health, so let's play this a tad safe. Get out of here. Oh, I want to grab that guy. That's alright. That little thing up there is going to be a health upgrade. See if I can get that jump going. There we go. We can pick it up. There are a few health upgrades scattered throughout each stage. Not all of them are going to be on the main route. You can also refill your health at checkpoints or randomly uh, through those crates. The chance of getting a health pickup increases with each crate you break that doesn't give one. So throughout the run, it's going to be useful to break those. We've got a little more lore here, but eh, it's not too important. Some guy's just getting bullied in the street, and now we've got to be a hero and save him. I think that's right. If you can like that, you know? Yeah. We've got our first boss coming up here, but it's a bit different than all the other bosses in that it doesn't have any invincibility frames. So if I just hold down the attack button and move left and right, <laughs> I can just do that. <laughs> nice. Everybody, everyone shouts about, that's God's Dozer, we know that one. That's a reference. Ethan, that one's a reference? <laughs> yeah. There's so many references. <laughs> See this entire first level? It's basically the first level of Mega Man X. What? <laughs> <laughs> Even with the really annoying enemies, thanks. Uh, <laughs> just saying. I'm meant to be the runner, but I'm learning so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, this game has so many references. It's amazing, it's wonderful. But yeah, I did not know that boss didn't have hitboxes. It's like, just inside, like, let's go. Yeah. There we go. Almost every other boss, emphasis on almost, has stuff to prevent that. But as it just so happens, that first one, you hold down a button, you move left and right, and it's yeah. great. Yeah. All right, we're still kind of in the intro phase to the game. It's going to last about... 30 more seconds, don't worry. Gravity Circuit gets you to the action pretty quickly. But we've got to get our second upgrade system here at the best character in the game. Nurse. Nurse. That's great. He's like, what's our name? It's like, oh, I'm just Nurse. Just call me Nurse. Just it's Nurse. Like, okay. That's all you need to know. You're not on a first name basis yet. No. Anyways, during this lore dump, uh, Nurse gave us a booster chip. 
The two upgrades in this game are Burst Techniques, which are the uh, special moves that that little pumpkin man gave us, and Booster Chips, which are like passive upgrades. Now, to get Booster Chips, we have to rescue civilians in stages. I think that's like Mega Man 6 or something. Yep. Yeah, cool. Six onwards, uh, yeah. Six. Each one will give you a token. You cash those tokens in, along with some Bitcoin, to uh, unlock booster chips. No, not Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally called bits. You just add coin to the end. <laughs> and so our routing is going to center around, like, what stages have uh, the most accessible civilians, uh, what chips do we need in which order. So there are eight stages we can go through. A Mega Man reference. <laughs> Again? Oh. Again. I mean, X7 is better than XX, but that's fine. Good take, good take. I assume. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's like the, re the rescue mechanic here, as I say, is that we need them. They're, they're basically currency as well. We can't get our special chips until we rescue them, and uh, we have a set amount that we require. Uh, but as you can see, going through the fire stage, each of these stages are going to have different gimmicks as we go through. They're going to have different enemies. They're going to have different uh, things that you need to go through. In this case, it's the explodable pipes alongside all the sliding, and then the lasers going through the uh, the different directions there, and our exploding canisters as well. There are a number of different hidden shortcuts in that that you'll see. There's some walls that have like slight cracks on them that you can go through. You may see some of these, you may not. It depends if you want to go and get the civilians or the health or energy upgrades. There's a civilian there. You just run into them, help. They say thank you, and away you go. Yeah, we're not going to be picking up too many optional civilians uh, throughout this. We need to get four. And as it just so happens, there are four along the critical path on this stage. And as Argic said, uh, the gimmicks are pretty simple in this one. It's just kind of, can you platform? There are a few cycles, but it's generally not going to stop you from progressing. So this just ends up being a very, very nice first stage. It's not the only viable option, but it's my favorite, so we're going to take it. Uh, damage boost through that. Very cool. Just got to break these walls here. Little hook shot, crouch down, break that, damage boost. The other thing that's really cool that you're noticing here as well is that um, Gordon is using like the upper kicks in that, but maintaining momentum to go through and just keeping, basically keeping momentum as you are attacking and destroying things to progress. It's really fun. Yeah, that's one thing Gravity Circuit does really well. Almost all of your actions will maintain your speed, uh, especially if you like have the sprint setting where it just auto sprints or you hold down the button. Hook shots, running, wall jumping, everything. It all keeps sprint speed. So if all your movement is really fluid, uh, your actions all cancel into each other really nicely. I missed that health pickup, that's okay. <laughs> the movement's just very satisfying, easy to pick up, high skill ceiling though. It's a great time. Okay, gonna be about two minutes into the boss room. So, bosses, the real quick explanation is that if you hit them too quickly, they go invincible. But if you use a burst technique, you start resetting that buildup. So I'm playing on circuit mode. Usually a burst requires that those green pips, but circuit mode lets you spend health instead. So I'm just going to deal two more punches, and then... That's not good. Uh, okay, improv. It worked. <laughs> I got to deal four punches, and then I can use this uppercut, cancel it before the final hit, use a standard punch, use another burst, and then lower his health just a little bit more and finish him off. <laughs> As a reference, I know that reference. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one was in Mega Man 2. <laughs> oh, but that, that's really smooth there. Like, and I love it as well as like how you know that you've managed to like stop them from going at their iframes because they just ragdoll. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like that. So it's like just wail on them. Once you start a launch, the boss will break out of it eventually. Like pretty shortly after, and then they'll automatically go invincible. Yeah. But again, if you just use a new burst technique, you reset it. And you also can't use the same burst like back to back. Yep. Yep. Like we get a total like if you've played Smash Bros, you'll understand. Like you get a total of four different moves you can do. You have your neutral, up, down, and then left and right. So obviously if you have a whole bunch of them, you can chain them all into each other, some chain better than others. Um, but of course with the speedrun we have specific ones that we want and uh, we're gonna go and grab a few upgrades. Yeah, time to get our first booster chip. Well, first new one. This is catch block, which brands super armor. Going off the of Smash Bros again, or fighting yep. games in general. If you're not familiar with the term, it just means we don't take knockback. Now, obviously that is amazing for a speedrun, and it also nullifies some stage gimmicks, so now we can actually play every stage. Uh, but the timer will keep going while you get hit. It'll just do like a freeze frame effect. So it's still in our best interests to avoid taking damage. Who would have thought? <laughs> All right, loading into power plant here. Now, 
We have about three more booster chips that we want to pick up. Uh, that is going to require 16 rescues in total. We're only going to get three at this stage because the rest are pretty slow. There's like one additional one that you can get that doesn't lose too much time, but as long as I get three, I'm on good pace. Fun fact about this stage, I learned about this game last DSA. They had a demo, and this was the Oop. only level. This was the only level in a demo, yeah. I spent like the week playing it, so... <laughs> of all the stages, I know this one slightly better than the rest. Only slightly better. Use that dive kick there. Dive kick is a very good option. You would initially assume, oh, it's a pogo. If I press it, I should just go straight down. In Gravity Circuit, it's a little bit different. You actually stall in the air for a second. And casually, at first, that kind of turns people off. It's like, well, that's not what I want. But once you get used to it, you learn, wait, this is amazing. Because you can use it to cover longer gaps, to get additional height, uh, and you can even cancel the move just with a jump. So it's an amazing mobility option, all because of that little star. Pick that up from underneath. Thankfully, the uh, hitboxes on the health pickups are pretty darn generous. And I'm doing fine on health here, which is good, because we're going to have some more damage boosts coming up in just a second. Okay, good. Surprise. Health routing is generally fine in this, but, you know, if you mess up a little bit and don't get lucky with uh, pickups, you can be in a little bit of danger. Is that news again? Can't believe the game's referencing itself. <laughs> Alright, just got a nice damage boost sequence here, followed by another boss fight, so if we have anything oh. that we want to read out while I recover from that mistake, we can probably squeeze in one thing. Or we can just enjoy the music. I mean, I'm vibing to the music right yeah. now. It's great <laughs> if you want to do it. All right, there we go. Can, can, can you jump into the next door? Uh, yes. It's a reference, yo, look, it's a reference, <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Normally, a glitch in Mega Man games, it's a feature in this game. There yeah, you yeah. go. It's, it keeps the Mega it's, it's so good. And there are some really wacky freeze frames you can get into that. I'll try it in uh, later stages. You can, like, moonwalk into the doors. It's great. <laughs> That's one third. There we go. Beautiful. There is a little room for improv there. Like, I could overkill the boss slightly, because if you deal more damage than exists in the phase, uh, that will just carry over to the next one. Yeah, that's not ideal. Well, one health left, unfortunately, there. It's okay, though. Perfect. But, uh, nice. nice. Headless boss. Okay, I'll take it. If the game wants to applaud my mistakes, so be it. No, the boss going invincible doesn't really lose much time. It's only a second, but, you know, it's a speed run, so it feels bad. It's still very smooth, though. Like, it's yeah. going very well, some of those fights. I just love how the, uh, the the attacks are just comboing into each other there as well. And it's like you're going into the uppercut then, and it just this straight cross. It's like, yes, yeah, just send them over the rail. <laughs> yeah, like, the combat in this game is like, they just dropped a fighting game character in a Yeah, pr pr <laughs> ba basically, yeah. But then it works, you know? Yeah. Like, they, they've taken the genres and just went, what if? Like, the low percent runs for this game are amazing because you can't just touch of death everything, so you've really got engaged with all the mechanics. There is a lore dump there. If you talk to this guy after beating a circuit, then he'll comment on the past or something. Uh, but what we're interested in are these burst techniques. Kind of like Mega Man, whenever you beat a boss, you can acquire some abilities themed after them. You have to purchase them, and there are only two. Well, only. That ends up being like 20 over the course of the entire thing. <laughs> but... We don't need to pick up all of them, but we will be grabbing two more before all is said and done. Heading into Junkyard next, where we're going to have to pick up five rescues. The burst technique I picked up, current arc, is basically a shotgun. Uh, it launches like 20 projectiles at point-blank range, and then they all spread out. So normally, that's kind of overkill. Like, against bosses, that's just going to make them go invincible. But against many bosses, which this game does have a few of, uh, those don't get invincibility frames. So... You can imagine how that goes. <laughs> oh, we're about to find out. Yeah, gonna have to grab five rescues in this stage. There are only four along the critical path, but it doesn't take too much time to pick up an additional one. Just gotta run to the left here. There you go, and that's what we're talking about, like some of the secret walls and that. There are areas that, they, when you look at it and you're playing, they're not clearly marked, but then when you know the tale, it's like, aha, there's one right there. 
Um, and then speaking of tails and that, the gimmicks in this stage, as you can see, is we have the crushers that you've got to try and get a good cycle going. And we have the junk ground where basically um, robots are being reanimated and are going to become a, a robotic army. Ooh. At least that's what uh, our boss is trying. Robotic zombie. Army. Yeah, the robotic zombies. Wait, you're telling me that this boss is trying to drop life two on us and we're trying to stop that? Yeah. <laughs> Insane. This is where catch block really comes into place. Again, this goo, normally if you hit it, uh, you get immobilized and have to like mash out. But if you have catch block, you just tank through it. And it doesn't deal damage, so it just gives you more of a building breaks. <laughs> Free health, let's go. Yeah. Okay, I do have max HP here, which is quite nice. Because I am going to be spending maybe a little bit of it here. All right, here we go, mini boss. So the booster chip that I got, Chain Dasher, lets me reel into my target once I hit them. So... For the fans. <laughs> and I will play this a little safe here and take a heal. Junkyard does have some nice health pickups that we can get, but, you know, Marathon, may as well play it safe. Thankfully, this game does not have any sort of life system, and checkpoints are fairly common, so obviously you don't want to die, mostly because it's embarrassing, but it's not too punishing if it happens. It's a very, it's a very, as you said, it's like, it's a great game to just sit and play and enjoy, but it's got that high skill ceiling, so yeah, like, it, it caters to both audiences. I wouldn't call this an easy game, but it is very accessible. Yes, that's the best way to describe it. Um, Cause like, you can heal on those checkpoints every time. But first, we got a boss. Had another boss. Has a D-pad for a face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trace the gamer circuit. <laughs> I think that's canon. All right, one, two. This is one of the most mobile bosses, which is really annoying for us, uh, especially because of how early we're fighting her. And also, she can deal a ton of damage, and we'd like to play things kind of risky, so... Oh, come on. You're really going to spawn that right there. Sometimes those corpses can, like, get in the way of your combos. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty good. Nice stuff on the bosses so far, and uh, the rest of them no longer exist, because now we can start doing the blender combo. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. So one thing that's really nice about Gravity Circuit, you know, you've got all these really tight stages, so if you're speedrunning it, you get an amazing run, and then you get in the boss, and nobody likes to lose their run to RNG. It's just not fun. Gravity Circuit, if you thought we were killing them fast now, we're just not going to let them play the game anymore. Oh, I'm, I'm intrigued. I've not seen this. Let's see how it works. Let's see what's going on here. It started spreading around a little bit. I think people have started catching on to this one, but it's not super out there yet. Just got to go back to Nurse. I mean, you said Blender, so I have a kind of an idea of what you're thinking of. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, burst. There we go. <laughs> Gravity Circuit's got cheat codes. They're very important. <laughs> Listen, more games need cheat codes. Cheat codes were cool. We can squeeze in a quick message here as we load it for the next time, if we've got anything to read. Uh, I want to remind you that we are raising money for Alzheimer Fonden, funding life-changing Alzheimer's research. By donating, you will be in the running to win wonderful prizes such as consoles, video games, board games, gaming accessories, and original artwork. Thank you, Red Wolf Gaming, and all other contributors for the amazing prizes. And keep the donations coming because you do not want to miss out on these things. Um, and speaking of donations, we have some. Um, Domesticated Ant has a $100 donation. Thank you very much. Um, developer here. Oh snap. Is that Gordon Ramsay from Game De Dev Nightmares? I hope the mechanics aren't undercooked. <laughs> In all seriousness, it is very cool to see Gravity Circuit being run at ESA. Thank you everyone at ESA and shout outs to everyone who helped with the game's development. You're all the best. I'll let Dominic and Gordon decide what incentives this money goes to. Oh gosh, decisions. <laughs> <laughs> um, That'll work. <laughs> we also have a $5 donation for the French restream. Uh, I hope none of you speak French because I don't and I don't want to be called out. Let's go, Lisa et le restream français Nitro Speedrun. Um, and finally, a $5 donation from Mod366. How do you greet the best character in this game? Hello, nurse. 
I hope people still get that <laughs> reference, or am I too old? And those $5 donations were for the final Vendetta Duke bid war. Um, for the alternate uh, skin, you get to choose which character skin Rena Link will use for the run. It's coming up after this. Alternate skin is currently winning. Uh, so if you prefer the default skin, make sure to get those donations in towards the bid war. Thank you very much, folks. Look, there's another reference. It's the, the helicopters from Mega Man. That's a reference. <laughs> it's a reference, too. I thought they just really liked helicopters. <laughs> that, too. Um, yeah, this, this stage, like, I'm kind of glad we were having donations being read on because I'm just vibing to the tune. Yeah. I love this tune. This tune is like, Eurobeat intensifies. Just away we go. Um, and you're seeing Gordon that does some of the really cool with these green platforms, just jumping off them early and, like, conserving the momentum. Uh, but these missile bars can be really annoying. Okay, let me show you something funny about this. Just hold down the X button. I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> I struggled so hard to jump through these. <laughs> uh. You will occasionally get hit if you don't time it, but I mean, as long as you have HP and catch block, it's fine. I did not have catch block, so anytime I got hit, I got knocked off. Because <laughs> it just stops you and just like, nah. Sounds like a skill issue. It's for the very much yeah. a skill issue. Thank you very much. <laughs> Speaking of skill issues, we're going to use a skill to uh, bypass the issue of rescuing the civilian. Nice. He's rising up there. Nice. Cheese through the whole thing. There is a way you can get that without any bursts, but good gosh, this is difficult. <laughs> All right. Now you may have noticed something unique about this stage, and that we're actually being a hero and like rescuing the civilians. That's because the next trip we want to get is called Air Jumper. It's a double jump, which is as good as it sounds. It's also the most expensive chip in the game and requires eight rescues. So the sooner you can get something, the better. It just ends up being not too slow to grab them all here. Time for the best circuit. This is so, Captain Falcon. So, well, yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> he does say, show me your moves at the end. And show him we will. <laughs> if you can hit the boss twice, they, they die. <laughs> <laughs> if you can touch them twice, they're dead. And also, because we use Chain Dasher for this, it's like if our cross-screen uh, ranged attack hits them, we just reel in and kill them. Like, hit them once and you'll pursue them to the ends of the earth. It's brilliant. It's amazing. Goodbye, Bet. We love you. And we love your stage music. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Power plant is still ingrained into my subconscious. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you had, a, you had a, a week's head start on that one. Yeah. Good gosh. <laughs> Got the sub too, though. Heck yeah. All right. We also do get to buy a burst technique here. I know it's a rare sighting. Oh, well, we're doing that then, since uh, Mod did do it in the donation. You're not old. We do understand the reference. <laughs> Hello, nurse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that happened in the reference run. Uh, and I know, right? In the reference run. Yeah, yeah. How many references? Yes. Yes, so many references. Gravity Dash. Gravity Dash. So this move's pretty cool. Uh, continuing the Smash Brothers similarities. This is basically Farms' up B. You stall in place for a second, and then you can dash out in like one of eight directions. It's pretty fast. Uh, we won't use it all the time, but this next stage is very vertically focused, so it is amazing there. Just lets us skip a ton of wall jumping. I have to ask you, since you're here, why did you go hard on the hub theme? <laughs> I, figured, like you just, I figured since you will hear it quite often, it should be okay to listen to. It, it's more than okay to listen to. You can just vibe in there. It's great. There is a lot more to the hub world. Like You can go and learn more. I am more pretty happy with the, the transition between yeah. uh, stage select and just regular hub world. Yeah, and like as you rescue civilians and whatnot, the hub world will fill out. So if you're doing your job, it's a pretty lively and cool place. Oh, smooth. If you're speedrunning, there are about two people in there. Yeah, pretty much. And you never talk to them. You have no reason to go to any other room. This is also a rhythm based stage as well, because um, these platforms all activate at different times. Then the blues will go off, then the reds will go off, then the oranges will go off. Um, of course, Gordon here not caring about any of that. Just <laughs> it, like, no, I'm just going to launch myself up with Gravity Walk. Goodbye. It doesn't matter. Are we doing a dog percent? Oh, oh right. please tell me we're doing <laughs> yes. dogs. Yes, I forgot about that. Yes. <laughs> we will be petting the dog. Which one? Full folk. Yes. 
There are two dogs in the game, and I was so happy when you got to save them. There's an achievement for saving them. They know their audience. And for petting them. Yes. As it should be. But it's also really nifty just with the checkpoint system in place there. Like, you can spend your bits that you're earning um, to then refill your health. It starts at 100, plus 25 every time you do it. Um, but you're aiming, you gain these bits from just basically everything that you do. You gain a massive amount at the end of every stage. I think you're setting it close to like 10k or something right now at the moment. I so have like, way too many. Yeah, yeah. Like the game just throws them at you, which is great. Um, but it's really, really cool for when you're using your, like when you're spending your health. Dog one, yes! I'm a dog, dog number one. That's it, dog number one. Dog number one. Yep. Shout outs to dogs. What a great invention. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Um, <laughs> They're robots, it counts. Uh, yes, yeah, but dogs are. Never mind. It's fine. Don't worry. I love my dogs. That's the only uh, permanent health pickup you pick up, right? Yeah, every yeah. stage has either a health or energy pickup. Uh, in circuit mode, they're all health, because why not? And that one right there was the best hidden one in the game. It's the one that gives people, like, the most trouble to find casually. And it just so happens to be the optimal one to grab during a run, because we need health there anyway. It's on the main route. The only puzzle is knowing where it is. Yeah. I'm just trying to find yeah, there's it. There's like no it. hard platforming or anything. Just, it's just there. Quick chain dasher again. Okay. So crowd, I've got a job for you. This boss has a crowd of her own. And inside fighter, they're going to start booing. And that's pretty hard on my ego. <laughs> so if we could get like a little hype there. <laughs> There they go. No, they're booing, they're booing. Come, <laughs> they're yeah, come booing. on, Garden. Yeah, you got this. Yeah. I don't know. I'm only at full HP. How will I ever win this? There we go. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Ha hard on your ego. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so hard on your ego, you needed to perfect her. It's fine. Indeed. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's so good. She gets fans, I get world records. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that's a fair trade. Yeah, yeah. Just five into the game. Yeah. So see at the end there when you finish it, based on how well you do, you're, those plus scores you're getting, those are bits as well. So it's like the game is literally just throwing them at you. So don't be afraid to use the health. Like, don't be afraid to use the health stations. Just go for it. Uh, but obviously, if you're going fast, then you will need some of that. And the perfect clear adds an extra 2,000 on top of that. Yeah. Exactly. Just for good measure. All right. Well, time for the mines. I Back do down yearn to the for mines them. again. Yearn for the mines. I yearn for the mines. <laughs> Back onto the grind there. Yeah. This stage is pretty funny because the boss of it, throughout a lot of development, was just a pushover. Like, you would expect. I don't know. The stage is like at the bottom of the list. It's kind of out of the way. We run it pretty late, so you'd expect, oh, you're later in the run. This will be pretty hard. The boss was just pathetic. In fact, if you hit him fast enough, you just disabled one of his core gimmicks. And then he got buffed. A lot. And now he's one of like two bosses in the game. Oh, that bat didn't get killed. I'm so disappointed. He's like one of two bosses in the game that can resist the blender. Just because he can drop blocks in the way and mess up your hook shots or whatever else. I feel like that sounds like a you problem. It is. <laughs> it is a skill issue. No, I'm not even a skill issue. I think you know, um, you maybe give them too much of a hint. Oh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> it's not a skill issue. It's a playtest issue. I should have done unethical <laughs> playtesting. <laughs> Yeah, I'll test your game. I'll find stuff. I just won't tell you about it. <laughs> You'll find out on release day. Oh, uh, emergency patch. Why Gordon betrayed us? Yeah. Chain booster really coming in clutch here. Normally those blocks take a few hits to break, but that's one of the benefits of chain booster: increase uh, hook shot damage and instantly break stuff like those or the gray containers. I like the air jump there, skipping over using the chain entirely. There's an even more sick movement like that in the final two. Yeah. I know way to see it. <laughs> Love that stage. Uh, one nice thing about hook shots, and just another reason why this game's movement is sick, if it latches onto anything, your double jump refreshes. Like that. You don't have to swing for any significant distance, you can immediately cancel it. It's just if it latches on, you're good. Get that, break those. And I know we're in the mines and it's like, you know, stowing and that, but why'd you go heavy on those? 
on uh, the music. On the music. I mean, just I just thought it was and... heavy blocks falling down. Yeah. yeah. Well, kind of fits. <laughs> it's called rock for a reason. <laughs> it is. It makes sense. Also, right armor. Mm. I asked if this has a name. It doesn't, so we're just calling it right armor. I think in uh, in code, it's called powered walker. Yeah. yeah. Just, just as it says, powered walker. No, no, right armor. It's gone forever. Don't worry about it. Aww. <laughs> Another reference killed. That's not a reference. We're literally just stealing the name for Mega Man. <laughs> like, it's not even a reference. It's like, no, yo, it's right armor. That's the second half of the run. We destroy all the references we created. Oh. All right, Crash. Let's see how you go. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Every boss gets like one word. Melinda. Good. That's the first one down. No perfect, of course, because you know, Crash being Crash. Just dropping a block on my head. Gotta break these things. It is a bit random. You can use the additional spawns to break them. No. That's good RNG. And good. Time. Nice. You know, when you said bosses were gonna die quick, I didn't think they were gonna die that quick. It's, but it's like, <laughs> done. It's so nice, though. The old strategy was just like, hookshotting them over. And yeah. Over. And that wasn't very fun. Especially with this next boss who flies. I did not like Blade. <laughs> no, no. Oh, but you said, yeah, I know where we're going. Popper time. Popper time. Popper yes. time. I will be picking up my final booster chip of the run. Nice. Layer. That one is just a flat uh, damage reduction. It lets you take one less damage from every non-hazard source. And hazards are just like swipes, which we don't want to hit anyway. No, and spikes slow as that. Thankfully, they're not insta kill. Yeah. But they do force you to respawn at the last safe area that you were on. Which is different from the checkpoint, by the way. Yes. It's just wherever the like closest ground was. Uh, and one damage reduction might not sound like a lot, but keep in mind, most of the damage we're taking is face tanking, just like running in stuff. And that only deals two. So now we're going to go from being able to take about eight hits to 16. That's a solid 50% damage reduction. Yeah. Is that how math works? I think so. <laughs> don't, don't ask me, I'm not doing math. That's good, that's good. I speed run, my brain's just full of route. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, every time a new route comes in, something else is gone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you know what's not gone? Some of our donations here. So while we're running through, we're gonna find our popper. Do you wanna take it away? Thank you. We have a $25 donation from Yadogami NL. Uh, say, thank you. Um, saying, I can't believe Gordon Ramsay is real. Did you already <laughs> touch Swedish grass? <laughs> if not, what are you waiting for? Have fun vibing with all of us and the rest of the run. Also, hi Arg, Dominic, and somewhere off screen, Coney Heights. Shoutouts to him. Thank I you for your donation. I think the worst part is my brain immediately thought, there's grass in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> there is, there's a lot of that. I'll take your word for it. I've just been playing Gravity Circuit. <laughs> and, you know what? Fair. So what did you do? I flew to Sweden to do what? I just play a video game. They locked me in a room and I played the video game. Nah, I flew to Sweden to get to Denmark. I went to Denmark to get to Sweden. <laughs> That's very true, yeah. Alright, this stage is pretty fun. It's another vertically focused one, but unlike Medley's, it's got all this horizontal uh, progression mixed in, which makes it very, very fun to run through. So you'll just have like a short burst where you're wall jumping or gravity dashing or what have you. And then you bounce it out with some nice platforming. Those platforms do fall while you're on them. So it really punishes indecisiveness. But as long as you're moving forward, as long as you're going fast, it's pretty decent. <laughs> Get him to shoot backwards, okay. <laughs> got confused. <laughs> he did. He did. You can also cheese those platforms slightly as well. Just hop on them. Like, if you're not sure, just hop. Yeah, just and they won't fall down. He's but just the movement here is like really nice. Thanks, Icicle. Appreciate that. Having a nice day. Hey. See, since you started it, this song is really chill. <laughs> I wasn't going to, but you started it, so it's fine. Look, this might be cool. But Blade is the cooler circuit. Yeah, he is the cooler circuit. I mean, he has the dog, so yeah. by default wins. Yeah, this gravity dash up there, pay no mind to my HP. This music's too relaxing, I'm trying to go fast. I know, that's the <laughs> thing about it. It's like, it is super relaxing. It feels kind of, say, wait a minute, what's coming up here? It's like, ah, right, more platforming. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, it's time. Oh, it's time. Okay, so like I said, this guy flies, and normally that's an issue. But recall, if you will, 
That Chain Dasher pulls you into your target. Yeah. This We're is going cool. up. It's going to be so sad. El elevator going up. Hi, uh, Blade. How you doing? I do think this is one of the hardest bosses casually. Oh, yeah. One of the gimmicks in this stage is, like, all those icicles freeze you. If you have Catch Walk, it does nothing. You can just go through it. I think it damages you. It no. does. Yeah. Unlike the the purple goop from Young Charge, which only... Uh, yeah, that just immobilizes you. Yeah. It doesn't damage. Okay. One, <laughs> two... Get out of here. Yay! <laughs> Yo, w w was that a Irma? Wait, you perfect that as well? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, okay. Once you get the blender, a lot of bosses get perfect. <laughs> I think with Crash, the only thing that messed it up was the, uh... The box coming down. Yeah. yeah. I have no sympathy for Crash. And it, it took probably just one damage as well. Like, yeah. that's it. That's how big. Okay, maybe two. I didn't have the 50 percent Yeah. I don't like that fact. It's like, um... People are saying, it's like, this feels like a mix of Shovel Knight with Pizza Tower with Mega Man. It's like, you know what you've just mentioned there? Like, three great games? It's like, <laughs> yeah. yes. And it still feels like its own thing. But it is its own thing. Like, yeah. that's the thing. Like, well, you, you haven't quite played something like this. Like, it takes the references. It takes the systems from games we know and love and just makes it into its own. Like, it's really fun. It's really good. And honestly, one of the best indie games of the year, in my opinion. Popper. Now's a good time. We can pet the dog. Nice. Yeah! Pet the other one! And if we have anything to read out during this, now's a good time. Um, we have a $5 donation from Neb Flynn. You're gonna like this one. Just put the game on my wish list. Good job. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> and those $5 will go towards Upgrade to Whip Only, the Castlevania Any% percent, uh, incentive. Uh, you wanna see that? It's probably gonna be a good time. Um, make sure you donate for the uh, whip only or any other incentives or bid wars you might like. I'm thinking of hookshot only. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not doing no, that. No, I was gonna say <laughs> no. I mean, we're pretty close. I think we only <laughs> basically just fight the bosses with it, but you know, minimalist hard mode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you say you say that, <laughs> then you're gonna have a whole bunch of like obstacles in your way that you're gonna just need to hookshot. Yeah. And you're like, oh wait a minute, this is more annoying. I've got the brain fog. I'm not remembering the <laughs> gauntlet encounter at the end. No. Oh, I love that. More about that later. Like, I'm not going to spoil that because that's just... Mm. This stage is pretty fun to run through. Uh, the outside area has, like, some of my favorite aesthetics in the game, which is unfortunate because you play it for about nine seconds. But uh, <laughs> These blocks are fine. Yeah. It's the upgraded ones that suck. <laughs> <laughs> We're hopping into the internet, and apparently the internet has a lot of colored blocks that we've got to puzzle through. Some of these do take, like, there are some, like, actual puzzles with this normally, but if you have Air Jumper, you can generally just kind of, you know, fly past stuff, which is nice. A little bit of an animation cancel there. If you hold down Auto Fire, which is a thing in the settings, uh, just as you hit the ground, then you can immediately go into a second punch. And if you hold down Hookshot while you're punching, you'll attack slightly faster. Okay, this room is very fun, but please remind me to reload the checkpoint after yeah. all of these. After each individual room. Yeah. So this run goes by file timer. What do you say? Yeah. Dude, thank you. Yeah. I almost forgot. <laughs> ah, right. <laughs> so we go by file timer, which is uh, the timer at the top. The one below it is the individual level timer. And reloading a checkpoint, timer doesn't increase during there. So if you reload, it's a little bit faster. It's not much because time does still stop while going through the portals, but reload. It's nice little time save. Just, just reload, done. <laughs> At some point, you're going to tell me reload is a Mega Man reference as well. <laughs> no, no. Okay, finally, something is sacred. I mean, you're just reloading a save file. Like, wait, wait can you do that in Mega Man? Say think so. <laughs> oh, saying some of them. So. <laughs> I am bad at video games. <laughs> nah. Again, the swinging on the hook shot is just, it's smooth. Yeah, the hook shot's really, really nice. If you uh, reel in, then reload. Yep. Yep. I got it. <laughs> I was testing you. Thank you. Thank no. you. If you swing in, you'll stop like the arc. So if you have like a really wide swing, but you need to do some precise movement with it, that's a good way to get it done. What's wrong with your monitor? Uh, don't worry about it. We pressed Windows and the arrow key. Something was in that checkpoint, man. <laughs> <laughs> Something was in the checkpoint. It swapped back. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> reload it. Reloading fixed it. Yeah. yeah. You got to put the gravity and gravity circuit every now and then. 
Alright, move through here. This jump is hard, so I'm gonna cheese it. Hey, let's go. Somebody in the speedrunning Discord, like, the route through that, there are a few ways you can do it. And I just noticed shortly before the run, somebody posted a video of them hookshotting downwards. It's like, I can probably try that. <laughs> That's the fun thing about running a game early. Like, I've had a lot of time to test it, so I've got a route, I've got movement. But so many things are still being discovered. It's oh, like, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, this is just faster than what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, like, the game's been out a week and a bit. Yeah. And it's like, when people get their hands on this and they're going to start destroying it, it's like, no game is ever completed. Like, you think a game is done, all it takes is one person to come and go, by the way, I found this. Runs destroyed, new yeah. routes and everything. It's so sick, especially with how much freedom there is in like routing and movement in this game. Yep. Speaking of freedom, I cannot wait to be free of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love this, you. Just this is the favorite guy. I hate hash so much. <laughs> Those platforms, they can get in the way of your hook shot. They can interrupt your chain dasher. He has limited vulnerability, and if you take too much damage, he'll use one of those vulnerability phases to laugh at you. Yeah, I got that achievement. It's like, wait, I got an achievement? What happened? It's like, punch the boss while Hash is laughing at you. It's like, ah, deserved. And the laugh is extremely fast. Yes. So it's like, you can't even do anything during no. it. Not at all. A 248's very good, though. Yeah. I do appreciate the fact that you've also included the timer as well yeah. in the game. It's like, yo, there's a stage timer, so you can practice your stages, and there's an overall file timer, so if you've started fresh, there's your speedrun timer. Like, you don't even need to set up like, any fancy speedrun stuff. You want to speedrun this game? Just download and play it. Done. Okay, we've got another lore dump here real quick. Oh. So, uh, we haven't been reading, so I'm just going to assume what's happening is uh, Colonel has been browsing LimeWire and clicked on some sketchy links. <laughs> <laughs> We've just went back to the 90s, apparently. <laughs> a lime wire? Giving away your age there? Only well, 21. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's my generation's job to make references that predate us. <laughs> that explains why you're playing this game. Never mind, it's fine. It is hipster Mega Man, isn't it? It's... I was going to say it's better Mega Man, but I might make enemies if I say that. <laughs> We do have a few Mega Man runners. In we do, we do. And we have a few Mega Man games as well. It's all good. Uh, but yeah, so uh, bad things have happened. Um, unfortunately, we are now... Uh, well, you're about to find out. We're going to have some fun with the uh, kind of the end game. And we're going to go and find out. Pat's now going to take over as the transfer here. This is basically the ultimate... Uh, what is it? The ultimate promotion from... It's like, yeah, I'm just here to help you out, Shartu. You're now the captain. <laughs> so wait, what? Um... But we're going to head over to the Ark. So the lore of this game, again, quick thing in the lore, is just because uh, the Virus Army has been uh, coming to take over the uh, the world, basically. And uh, we have now found where the Ark is. Our commander has been taken over. And it's our job to go and save not only him, but the world. Let's jump this tight. But if I can get it. Nice. Hey, there we go. <laughs> oh, the dive onto the box bounce as well. I love the movement there. There is a chip that decreases your fall speed, and you can use that to keep the speed for even longer, but that kind of changes how you move through everything, so I have not routed that in at the moment. Into the R. Here we go. Indeed. We've got a set of three final stages here, and as you'd expect, these are some of the hardest ones in the game. <laughs> They're very cool, though. You do get a nice like mashup of all the previous mechanics coming back. Yeah. So you've got the lasers from Ray's stage here, you've got the uh, electrified platforms from Cable's power plant, and we're going to have the fans for Blade soon. And of course the spikes from Mega Man, no stage would be complete. <laughs> not, not at all. I'm just glad they're not insta-kills. Yeah. Make it through here, let's see if I can do this. There we go. I can go off of that guy. I'm not sure if that's even fast, but the point of speedrunning is to look cool, right? So. Hey, Swag is time neutral. Yeah, that's what I got. Sh shout out to Plex on Boy. Like, I love that. It's like, just no, Swag is time neutral. But you lose <laughs> time. No, it's time neutral. I it looks cool. Definitely stealing that. Yes. Like, uh, uh, sh that's, that's Plex us, and then Boy told it, and it's like, yeah, no, I love it. I love it to bits. It's under Creative Commons. It's fine. <laughs> Gravity Dash up here. Ah, oh, slightly off. That's okay. That's okay. Gravity Dash is faster horizontally as well, but just because Burst is a fairly limited resource, we want to really pick and choose where we use it. We do have Circuit Mode enabled, so we could use it more often, but of course, that drains a lot of health. Very risky. 
there is difficulty scaling on how much health you lose. It's three in easy, four in normal, and five in hard. We're playing on normal, of course, because the game's bounced around that. But I want to save it for these. No, ones. not the pumpkin. No, not the pumpkin man. He does have an actual name. But yes. I, I'm American, so I'm not going to risk pronouncing it. Yeah, thank you. It's fine. Yeah. Yes. Megatron. There we go. Yeah. That works. Unskippable cutscene time. Lore. This one is really fun without any context. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Dies of cringe. <laughs> <laughs> I am too much to handle. I am cringe. <laughs> now he is cringe, but he is free. Oh, we found Colonel. Yep. That's our job's done. Okay, really. <gasps> what? He was us the whole time? No. No way. No spoilers, but this isn't what you think it is. Yeah. And and that's really refreshing, by the way. So kudos to the writers on this. Oh, I messed up slightly. So boss has gone invulnerable, and now I have to burn a lot of HP, which is bad because this is the one boss in the game with a dodge button. So it is entirely possible for him to just decide, no, I don't want to get hit by your stuff. He's you, but bad. Also, normally you have to face tank this part, but I'm so low on HP that I have to like play the game the way the developer intended, which is a bit slower and much scarier, because now he's going to try to dodge and get as close as possible, and then try to pile drive me. Hopefully we don't see a pile drive. That's yeah. looking good. Nice. nice. I do love the chase down just with the hook shot. Yeah. I just like, yeah! <laughs> that was the yeah. thing I really pushed for, is like, look. There's always going to be a quick way to kill your bosses. Please make it cool. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. So it's like, it's going to happen. We're going to find something. Just make it look good. Make it look good. Please, <laughs> please make it cool. Make it fun. <laughs> that definitely is fun. Like, the blender is really nice. Yeah. yeah. Two left to go. Two left. Arguably, this one is my favorite. Like, just the way this is. Mm. This is your favorite level coming up. Yeah, it is. It's mine as well. I love Arc 2. It's also the longest in the game. This is like a six-minute stage. Yeah. Everything else has been about two, two minutes since yeah. you like There's it's, a reason it's for this, though. The yeah, yeah the, the, <laughs> there's a reason for this. This is a really nifty take on a boss rush. So you've seen games that do boss rushes for you, where it's like each individual boss, right? You go do it, you get a refill, all that. This just takes that and basically condenses it in a speedrun form, and it's so cool. And but it's fair as well. That's yeah. the good thing about it. It's got like checkpoints and whatnot. So yep. if I ever really mess up, which that would never happen, I'd never die or nah, a trick. No, no. Uh, there are checkpoints, so my hubris will not cost me too much. Oh, yeah, the underswing. Cool the one. underswing. Yeah. Woohoo! I love that movement. No, nope, squeeze through there. Okay. Yeah, this stage does have some of the hardest movement in the game. It's a very cycle based stage, but again, the thing about Gravity Circuit is the cycles are very rarely, oh, you missed it, you can't progress. It's like, well, you're just going to have to change your platforming on the fly. Yeah. Very adaptable, just as long as you're good. Actual skill check. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, I should be able to slide past that. One thing that's nice, sliding in this game, it's not optimal to spam it. It picks up speed as you hold it, so there's a rhythm to it. And as someone that was intentional, too, Yeah. because we didn't want people to be like, spamming like crazy. Yeah, you're like, you've been very, like, ex yeah. going back to accessibility there, you've been very, very careful to make sure it's like, yeah, like, we want people to have the ability to, like, have that mashing feeling going, yeah. but not actually mashing. It's like, just hold the buttons. You'll get the same action, but just hold the button. Yeah. So it's like, anybody can come and play this and not have to worry about, you know. And also, it's nice for people to not destroy their... Destroy their hands, yeah, hands. Yep. yeah. Understandable. I do not like mashing if I don't have to. Yeah. If I can just hold, yes, please. That part there is some of the scariest movement in this stage. But it's so good. It is. I may have to, uh, don't kill me there. Okay, good. Nice. Uh, oh, no, I'll take the check one. And we're not out of the woods yet. We've got to do it again, though this one is a bit less risky. All right, it's the music kicks in too. Nice. That is, casually, that looks like the scariest part in the game. And this whole segment is brutal, because you'll notice that checkpoint was really far back. So if you die, basically just get to the boss or you're going back. But again, it's really consistent and really fun once you get it down. But yeah, again, this stage itself is just a general 
mix of different stage gimmicks that we've seen here to the other stage gimmicks from the bosses yeah. we haven't. But now, the fun begins. Yeah. Like I said, this is about a six minute stage. We'll probably get like a six minute stage here. We're two minutes in. Mm -hmm. So the rest is the boss rush. And how this works, this guy in the center, well, we're going to chain dash him down real quick because he doesn't have eye frames. <laughs> and then we're going to use our shotgun because he doesn't have eye frames. And then we're going to fight a condensed version of the boss. He takes on an aspect of, uh, like, just one of the eight circuits at random, and then you do a refight. But it starts right in phase two, so you get the desperation attack, and then you finish things off. And there are some minor mechanical differences. Like, these bosses have, I guess, less resilience for invulnerability. Like, you can hit them more times before it will drop. And then at the end of every refight there, the main boss will drop health for you. So you just keep going with this loop, and it never stops. And it's so good just to keep going and going and going. And doing, playing it through for the first time, and finishing it without dying, and that achievement pops up, it's like, I'm a boss. Like, that's it. You just, it the game rewards you, and that's what makes it fun. Like, it just... And it's really nice on circuit mode, because as you'll notice, we're dropping a lot of health throughout this. Yep. So it just works out very nicely. Uh, using current arc on the main body is kind of a new thing, and it makes the route much riskier. So that's why I'm not using it every phase, because again, if something goes wrong, well, I'm going to be way too low on HP, and we're fighting every boss, so something could. But when you can get it, you can just hit stick it. I'm also seeing people saying that they're terrible at platformer games. Still play Gravity Circuit. Like, they are very, very accessible on it. Yeah. Like, they've made it where it is fair, and they don't punish you for dying or anything. It's genuinely really good. Get me out of there. Oh, hello. How are Ooh. you doing, friends? That's not the movement. Nope. Huh? Where are you going? Get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Get some jukes in there. Yeah, indeed. He's probably the most mobile boss, oh, but yeah, he does yeah. telegraph all his stuff. So, you know. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. Blade's coming up here, let's see how that goes. Not a bad boss rush so far, I mean, bit, but <laughs> aside from that. Uh, if I'm very fast here, uh, slightly messed it up. Nice. <laughs> 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 so we did land back on the platform. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I will play this one safe because I did not get all the burst energy back. That's the worst part about fighting Blade and Ash in this. Because in the main one, it's like, oh, whatever, it's just one boss. If you have to circuit a few more times, it's whatever. In this, it's like, no, I need that energy. Please, get it back. This will be good, though. This will really back up the full. If we have anything, like, any messages we want to read out now, that's a pretty good time. Just two more bosses to go. Um, well, as you all know, I hope, we are raising money for Al Alzheimer fund them. Uh, Alzheimer's is... Um... Let's see here, I'm sorry. Um... There is currently no cure for Alzheimer's disease. However, current treatments can temporarily slow down the worsening of dementia symptoms and improve quality of life for those with Alzheimer's and their caregivers. Just recently, there have been massive breakthroughs uh, in Alzheimer's research and donations from people like you can help fund that. Your donations can go to improving the quality of life for people affected by Alzheimer's. Thank you, thank you sure to get those donations in. Raising money for a great cause. Definitely. Now, one thing that I meant to mention before, but Speedrunner Brain Rock kicked in and I kind of forgot what I was going to say. The movement in this game, as you were saying, Arcade, like... <laughs> oh, thanks, Crash. Thank you, Crash. That was the block, the random blocks that come down just on the head there. But the good news is you can see Checkpoints. only two remain, so you still get to go in and redo it again there. But yeah, you were saying movement <laughs> before Crash rudely interrupted. Yes, the movement, it looks really good. And it's very easy to pick up and feel like you're playing well. Yeah. Like, one thing I go to, and it sounds like the most basic thing, but just jumping in this game yes. feels amazing. It's responsive, is the thing about it. Like, they've managed to just nail... Like, they've taken our favorite platforming elements, but made them super responsive to come in. 
as you see, super easy to pick up, but it has a very high skill ceiling. I am, I'm tempted to pick this up, and I, I'm terrible at Mega Man games, but I love this. <laughs> so it's like, maybe, maybe I'll be challenging your times, who knows? Please do, please get involved. Okay. Great, we've got to fight my two favorite bosses again. <laughs> Yay! Crash and Hash, back at it again. Crash Hash, isn't that a game? Crash Hash, Crash Hash, maybe. There have been enough references that I've made. <laughs> <laughs> Please know it's not one. I'm just making a bad joke. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Hey! Oh, that got him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go for a ride there, let's go. And then boom. And that is just, that's a phenomenal way of doing a boss rush. I love that. It's so fun. It just doesn't, it just doesn't stop you, you're like off. Yeah, it's like, you don't go through the whole long death explosion. No. You're right into the burst technique, so you're into the interesting stuff. Yeah. It's only half the health bar, you can combo them even more. No invincibility frames on the main thing. Thank you for making a good boss rush. It, <laughs> it wasn't me, but... No, but you made music for it, and it <laughs> just makes you feel good. One might say, makes you feel glorious. Hashtag sponsor. <laughs> that is one of the event sponsors, don't hate me. Exclamation mark glorious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exclamation mark glorious, yeah, yeah. There it is. Smooth. It's on the back. Nice, nice. Okay, final three. Uh... I'm going to do the unwise thing and try to commentate as I run through this. Oh, go this... for it. <laughs> No, go for it. It's fun. You, you got this. It'll be great. It'll be great. You got this. Though I'll uh, kick that down the road a little bit. If you want to go into like the design of this stage, Dominic, because there are some interesting bits. Yeah, um, we decided to uh, take inspiration from uh, Mario World, like Bowser's Castle, Mario World. There's on every floor there's two paths you can take. You can take the left or the right path, and there are there are different like platforming sections, but. So if you have trouble with one side, you can try the other side. And there is a checkpoint at every floor. So, yeah, we just wanted to have some variety. So that even if you play this level once, you haven't seen everything. And it's really interesting watching what routes people take through it. Like, uh, from the timing I've done, in this first room, right and left are about equal. About equal in difficulty, about equal in time. It's just kind of... Uh, matter of which one you prefer. Afterwards, I like going left, but you'll see people go like left, right, right, left, or whatever else. Yeah, I was curious about which routes people actually take on this one, just because there's a <clears throat> my favorite trap coming up very soon. <sighs> the Gosh. floor four left. Yeah. yeah, but it's also on floor floor right, because yeah, you yeah. put them in both. I was kind of hoping you didn't. Four right is just evil. Yeah. Like, it's cool, but... Good gosh, man. I, I actually think right is easier than left. On the See, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, but it's, it just goes to show you, like, different styles, different gameplay, how you can handle it. Okay. Three left, though, is, like, one of my favorites. Because this, you finally get to hookshot. You finally get to do it. I say as I don't hookshot. But there it is. <laughs> and there it is again. And if you'll believe it or not, we're going to use it a few times here as well. Smooth. I am running a little low on health, so I'm playing this probably a bit safer than I really need to, but... I'm still not recovered from the embarrassment of dying to crash. My ego will never recover. <laughs> I will not pun. I will not pun. I will not pun. Do it! <laughs> you, could the say, pun. you could say your ego crashed! Uh. No! <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'll take the checkpoint here. So, what these? Thing? Yeah, breakable spikes that respawn. So, it's not the fact that they're breakable, it's not the fact that they respawn. It's the fact that they are spikes. So, if you want, you want to hit three if you can. Yes. The problem is, if you are slightly off in any way, you will hit the spike and it will just force you back to your last safe ground. Yeah, the problem it, is. It counts as a stage hazard. Yeah. The problem is, if the last piece of safe ground that you touched was one of the normal breakable blocks, that's not safe ground. And you can lose a lot of time just because of the last safe spot that you touched. They are a pain. I actually got to the part where I that started using... Like, yeah, that's really beautiful. Yeah. Really uh, it's so hard to do. <laughs> I got to the point where I actually started using burst energy, using the cyclone, yeah. just to get through it. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm just cycloning. I don't care. 
But those are just, they are frustrating. We've got a pretty long uh, lead up to this last boss, so if there's one more quick thing that we want to squeeze in, message points, now's a good time. Get there in a moment. Just the sound of silence. Indeed. Oh yeah, we're, we're setting up here. Rudhira, if you have anything, now's a great time. Well, we have another $100 donation from Domesticated and Games. Oh. <laughs> uh, someone's really happy about seeing this game showcase, I think. Uh, you guys are doing a great job. And thank you again, Domesticated Ant. Um, keep in mind that we have Final Vendetta coming up after this run. And there is still a bid war going on. Make sure you get your donations in because you have the power to choose what skin will be used during the run. Thank you very much. We should say domesticated and games are the developers of the game. Yes. <laughs> like they, they made this. It's we, great. We've got half of them right here. Oh. I believe I saw Mr. Variator in chat. The other one. All right, so we are on like the final boss segment here. We do have uh, our, our, unfortunately, our colonel here is not doing too well. He's being controlled by the big bad in the back there. I swapped way too early. <laughs> uh, this fight is a bit of a pain to do, because again, there are five health bars total in this. You get no healing, and this guy gets a shield. Yep. And he hits like a truck. Yep. So, I'm not 100% sure on like, the best going to find him, but this has been pretty decent. And if you die on that boss and you respawn, he's no longer green. Yeah, he's purple. Yeah. They reanimated him. I wish he were blue. Thank you, the jumps. Dabba dee, dabba da. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Final boss of the run. All right. Good luck. The first phase isn't too bad, though he is... He's not quite immune to hookshot, but he takes less damage from it and goes invulnerable faster than everyone else. So you really don't want to hookshot this guy. But still, phase one, no biggie, no biggie. Phase two, he gets a shield that we have to break. And then he's only vulnerable for like two seconds. Now... The time does increase uh, every time you break it, but still, it's not a lot. And with how his attack patterns are, this can be very sketchy. Okay, that's good. And now for phase three. Oh, almost hit the spikes. Uh, I've got a quick kill here if I do this right, because these guys instantly break that. Now, I needed that corpse, and he did not give it to me, so I cannot kill super fast. That's okay. There we go. Nice. Nicely done. Good job. Good we, run there. We will sit through the credits so that we can get that like flat time at the end. Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. all good. It's like gonna wait for totally not Sigma to blow. I mean, um, <laughs> it's a reference. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's all the uh, all the circuits in that again. Story is explained in the game. You get the lore dumps there as we go through. You get the chaos. Um, uh, yeah, the chaos. <laughs> I mean, there's 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 too many. The Master wait. Emerald in the middle. Though. He's gonna agree in a second. It is true. It is true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on a game now, I have to run it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it does kind of feel like it. <laughs> I mean, with the speed in that and the platform, it does, genuinely. Yeah. Like, it, it is really smooth and really fun. All right. Well, let's, I guess, just do quick shout-outs at the end. Yeah, go for it. Some shameless self-promotion. Uh, <laughs> Nothing shameless about it. You showed off. You deserve it. Go for it. I streamed this game at twitch.tv slash Gordon Ramsay. Gordon with an I. G-O-R-D-I-N. I've been told I am the cure to insomnia by myself. <laughs> so if you ever find yourself awake late at night and need to drift off, I've got you. You want right. to plug your own channels? Well, I, I write music. Uh, you can find my YouTube channel, Dominic Denmark, my name. <laughs> and I am Arg. I was asked to come and join. We've played the game. It's great fun. I love seeing this. is my first time seeing the speed run. It's the beautiful. The puppers. We love the puppers. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Arga. You can also see me later, so I'm going to do all my shoutouts in that later on. But thank you for inviting me to come and join and watch the run. It's been amazing. I am looking forward to trying yeah. it myself. Yeah. It's thank gonna you be for good. coming on. It's been great to have you. All right, thank you. Well, hand it over. Uh, we are ready to go. Tell us what's next. Thank you so much for your amazing showcase. And thank you again, Domesticated Ant. Um, lovely game. Um, we have... Um, 
final vendetta coming up. And remember, want? there is still Wait. a bid war going on. It is nearing its end, but you still have a few moments to get your uh, donations in. You get to choose what skin is used for the character. Uh, don't go anywhere, there will be a short intermission, but stay tuned and there will be more speedrunning content coming right up. Sounds good.